Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use HubSpot Marketing Hub. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be wondering, how do you start using HubSpot Marketing? So we all know that marketing is a really important section into your business, especially if you want to grow your business since we are currently in the social media era of um, right now for businesses. In this case, again, marketing is something really important to uh, basically focus on, especially if you want to grow or even attract more customers into your business. Now in this case, HubSpot here can actually help you. Now, in this case, HubSpot does not only provide uh, marketing uh, solutions; they also have provi they also provide different softwares for your company. Or if you want to, now they have Marketing Hub here, which is going to be the focus of our video. Now we also have Content Hub here, Operation Hub, Sales Hub, Service Hub, and Commerce Hub. Now, in this case, you might also be wondering, can you actually start using this for free? So when we go to our pricing tab here, you should be able to see the current uh, pricing for marketing products. In this case, currently for businesses and enterprises, currently the price for that is going to be around 1,151 a month, which is in Australian dollars. So depending on where you're currently located, the price itself might be different. So in this case, make sure to visit their official website first. Now also for Marketing Hub Enterprise, we have 5,200 Australian dollars monthly. Now in this case, this includes five seats. But if you're just an individual or for small teams, they actually provide like $22 a month uh, for uh for one month they also have the marketing hub starter and hub professional here and that has the, the actual prices on them now they also provide a free plan here which in this case you'll be able to start generating emails uh email, emailing new leads and measuring your success for free so they provide you some form of tools that you can still use within the platform itself now in this case, since we want to try using it, let's go ahead and click on get started for free and it will it will actually redirect us into the next page. But in this case, we need to create our account. Now you could manually create your account by entering your email address here, but we want to create our Google account or using our Google account here. Let's go and choose that, choose our email, hit on confirm. And once we've done that, it should start the questioning. Now in this case, have you used software to manage engaged with customers before? So in this case, we could go ahead and either answer yes or no here, depending on your experience now, for example do you know which problems you want to solve and with HubSpot? in this case maybe you want to censor no so what industry are you in so for example i'm going to say i'm into technology and services also which describes your role so currently maybe i want to say i'm a uh, executive uh, team in this case we want to enter our company name so i'm just going to enter a sample name for my company so let's just say it is going to be shop let's go ahead and click on next from here how many people work at your company now like we saw before the free plan actually provides you like uh, for our uh, free five seats on this page you need to provide a website so let's go ahead and enter our website here now in this case it's going going to also ask you where you would like your data to be hosted to have us or eu so in this case make sure to choose the uh, lease or the fastest connection that you have so for example if you're using or if you're connecting the us it's uh really fast for you you could choose us or either eu in this case i want to choose us here click on create account and that should actually start my account being created so let's just wait for it in this case, you have the head, a head start with Google Contacts if you want to connect your contacts. But for now, I'm going to do this later. Now, once you've created your account, this is the first thing that you'll see on your screen. Now, in this case, I know it's quite a lot here. There's a lot of icons that you can visit here. But in this case, the first thing that you need to focus here is going to be the uh basically the home page here so typically they would actually uh, recommend you some things to first set up like for example in this case you have the recommended hub hubspot setup section here in this case you can just basically start adding your tracking code to your sites to visit basically track your visitors so if you want to do that just click on add tracking code here it's going to give you some uh 
information on how to do that so for example this is the code that you need to add so this might take so some uh some knowledge uh, regarding on editing your website like for example if you have a shopify page that you have you need to integrate this one but if you need help you can actually uh, see a detailed instructions in the section here just click on the here page here and that should redirect you to that page in uh in a way to so actually integrate that this case in this case is qu quite a lot here there's quite a read in here now in this case you just need to follow the steps here for you to integrate that specific code into your website in this case let's go ahead and immediately go to the marketing section now the left side here you should be able to see a drawer which in this case will be focusing on marketing let's go ahead and click on it now in this case there's going to be a lot of things that we could do here in marketing so we have campaigns email social ads forms and cdas now in this case we'll be focusing on campaigns email social ads and forms now, in this case maybe you want to start collecting some information from prospects or some from some pro, uh, uh expecting or from pro, uh, future customers that you'll be receiving like for example if you want to have like a form where in this case they could fill out and you'll be able to start contacting them well in this case let's go to forms here and you'll be able to create your forms now in this case in the form section you just click need to click on create a free form at the top right here and from here we want to click on i'll set it up myself now you have two options here so you have embedded form and standalone page now if you choose embedded form here they will give you a code which in this case you need to integrate that into your website in order for you to use that embedded form but in this case if you want to use the standalone page here which in this case from the name itself is going to be a standalone page which in this case you should be able to uh, basically uh, just add or uh, share that link and they you'll be you'll be able to basically share that specific page and they will be able to enter the information in there in this case maybe i want to say embed form here in this case is going to click on next at the top right now we need to determine what type of template or if you want to start with a black template now for a black template here you need to provide some information like the email here and you need to submit that as well as templates now in this case if you want to use templates like for example for payments for collecting event, uh, payments from events and whatnot you could choose that we also have registration here so if they want to fill out a form so for example visitors or registration uh, so you also have the contact us which in this case they will be able to contact you newsletter sign up which in this case they need to provide their email first name and last name have the support section ebook download and a lot more so for example maybe we want to maybe include a contact us page here let's go and choose that and just click on start at the top right now in this case you'll be able to uh, basically start uh basically using their tool here which is a, this case is actually quite easy since it's actually quite a drag and drop way of organizing your data or your ui here now in this case you just need to press and hold on it and you'll be able to reposition your text as you can see I'll, i'm able to re basically rearrange your last name and first name here so in this case if you want if you want to move something make sure to hover it on that specific section now since this is a going to be a drag and drop type of mode the placement itself is quite limited but in this case if you want to maybe add comments on it like add tasks even calendars you can go ahead and do that as well now this case at the left section here this is what you will be able to uh, basically see so currently we have first name last name and email included now if you want to add that specific section so let's go ahead and click on done here so if you want to add that you could go ahead and click on it so for example you want to add street address go ahead and click on it and it's going to be added in here so you should be able to edit a few things here like for example make this fill a quarter field make this fill hidden if you want to add labels help text place orders and a lot more now in this case you have the contact properties if you want to or access those ticket properties here as well if you want to add those as well now in this case once you're done you can just basically click on the update uh, button here at the top right and from here you should be able to start publishing in this case go and click on publish and from here this is what the code is going to look like and you just need to basically integrate this into your website for you to start using it in your website we also have the share link here if you want to hubspot as well if you want to but in this case let's go and click on back to all forms here you should be able to see your current form 
Now, in this case, we also have the section for creating campaigns, emails, and social. Now, for social, you should be able to uh, basically uh, allow you to add your socials and spend more time connecting with the people who matter most. Like, for example, if you have like a Facebook account, a an X account, Instagram, or LinkedIn, you should be able to start connecting them. But for in order for you to start using it, you need to have a premium plan or upgrade plan. So you need to talk to their sales in order for you to actually use this one. Now they also have the option for ads. Now ads is a good way for you to basically manage all the different accounts that you have online. So for example, if you have an ad account for Meta, so if you have an ad, a Google uh, ad account, you can go ahead and connect that. So in this case, just click on connect ad account here and you'll be able to add again, Facebook, Google ads, or LinkedIn if you want to. So this, they will actually guide you on how to set this up and uh, basically installing pixels and ROIs as well. So there's a four step way of actually connecting your account. Now in this case, we also have a section here for basically emails. So in this case, emails is a great way for you to contact or basically uh, uh, give or advertise your uh, business. In this case, if you want to create a new one, just click on create email and it should give you two or uh, three ways uh, to create like regular or automated. In this case, if you want to have an automated one, you can just click on create a personalized email here, it's like sets and contacts through the workflow. But if you want to create a regular one, just click on regular. And from here, you just need to fill out all the necessary details and choosing your template. In this case, maybe just go ahead and click on explore on my own here. So in this case, you need to choose a template you want to use. So for example, uh, I just want a basic one. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And from here, it's going to give you a uh, different ways on how to edit it. Now, in this case, like we saw before, this UI is actually a drag and drop uh, as well. So in this case, you just need to, maybe if you want to add, add an image, just press and hold on it and you'll be able to add it in that specific section. Just need to upload your image, add links if you want to, whenever they click on it, you will be able to uh, basically access that. So for example, maybe I want to add a photo of a dog here. Let's go upload that one. So it's going to appear in here as you can see right now, which is something really cool. Now in this case, once you're done, just click on done at the top left here. And basically you just start adding whatever you want. So if you want to add layouts or add layouts, you can go and do that. But once you're done, just click on review and send here. And from here, you just need to make sure that you fill out all the necessary details. So that includes the uh, recipients, the subject line, company name and address. Also uh, fill out all the information here. But once you fill out all the information, just click on send and you should be good. Now also, if you want to send us email first, just click on send us email, choose the recipient of that email, choose the contact as well. And you could go and click on send plain, plain text version if you want to as well. And just click on send test email to test that. Now in this case, maybe you want to go back. So let's go ahead and click on exit. And from here, you should be also uh, be able to access the other option, which is going to be campaigns. Now campaigns from the name itself, you should be able to start campaigns for your business. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on create a new one. And from here, maybe I want to say, I want to start from a template here. So to create a hotspot here, they actually provide you different templates that you could use. So maybe for campaigns, emails, or whatnot, you should be able to start using those templates to get your business up and running immediately. So you no need to manually create everything. In this case, we have the email drip campaign here, in-person event promotion, band card, internal newsletter. So in this case, just choose the appropriate one for you. Like for example, let's go and choose in-person event promotion. Just use this template. It's going to say create campaign here. So in this case, you just need to select the campaign order, uh, the campaign start date, campaign goal, campaign audience, and campaign notes. In this case, let's go and fill out those details. Now, once you fill out all those details, you should be able to see the next page. But in this case, it's going to be uh, a quite big, uh, big thing here because we first need to create our forms, which is what we saw before, a landing page, which is kind of a website. We also have an email here, CTA, emails, and whatnot. So if you want to start creating that. So for example, maybe I want to uh, maybe uh, complete all the information here. So for example, if you want to add a form, just click on add asset here. And from here, you could just basically select a form. So in this case, we actually created your form before and you should be able to add that form. Now, if you want to create a new form for you, just click on create a register form here if you want. 
Again, if you create a log a landing page, you just click on add asset, choose your form here, and in this case, yeah. So in this case, a basic campaign is a combination of all the uh, things that we saw before, like creating landing page, forms, CTAs, emails, and whatnot. So it's going to be a step uh, process. If you want to add more, you could just basically add, like for example, I want to drag this into here, here and add another step. So in this case, instead of just it, it being just 11 steps, it's now going to be 12 steps. But yeah, so those are the beginner things they need to know for HubSpot CRM or HubSpot Marketing Hub. In this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.